What's up guys, Batman Collector back again for, it's been a while, um, haven't gotten much in, just with this whole virus situation, everything has been on hold, but out of nowhere, out of the blue, Harley finally decided to come home, um, super excited, you can see I have the exclusive, uh, they did 500 exclusives and 1,000 regulars, so 1,500 altogether, just a quick look at the box, it's really thin, unusually thin, and I love this art they have on the, on the back, it's really nice. Um, here, I've already taken the base out. This is where the base was, and this is where the body went. But here you can see the head. Oh, there's another hand. I didn't even notice that. There's another hand up here in the, the corner. But in lieu here, this is the exclusive. The pop gun. Okay. And then you can see here her hand, like, attaches to these leashes. So that's how that works. I was really curious how that was going to work. So that's how that works. And then here, you can see I've already got the base out. These are the keys, I'm assuming. This one's for the foot, and this is probably for Bud and Lou. And I wanted to show you this base. It was really dusty when I first pulled it out, like it had been sitting in a warehouse for a really long time, and most likely it did. But you can see on the bottom, it's really nice. They have this really nice art. But it's 148 out of 500. And this is a one-fifth scale statue. Um, this goes along with the Batman, which is right there. Um, really curious to see what they look like together. I've decided to pass on the Joker because the sculpt doesn't look great. But um, yeah, let's get this on and we'll see how this looks. So I just put in her exclusive hand. Um, this is the regular one right here. It's just, you know, it's just kind of boring. It's whatever. It's just a waving hand. Um, I really like it when the exclusive is something that you actually want to use. So I'm, I'm glad they went with this. I think this is a nice exclusive. I will say, though, this is super... This is a weak magnet right here. Like, I can barely feel it pull. In fact, it makes me nervous <laughs> leaving it like that because the magnet's pretty weak. Um, this feels like wire, actually. I thought this was going to be plastic, but that feels like a little wire. Man, that is weak. But I hope that one's a little stronger. Yeah, so far it's looking pretty good. All right, let's get some more pieces on there. So here you can just see I put Bud and Lou in, and the hand is still hanging here. I, I kind of had to guess. I kind of needed to use the box. This one is really standing up on its own, and there is a long metal peg in its foot that goes into the base. Um, makes me a little nervous. I don't know why, but I feel like that's a lot of weight that's being supported by just this one little peg inside. So I hope this doesn't start to lean or anything, but it looks cool. It looks really cool. Again, these are also pretty dusty from being in the warehouse too long. This magnet, I, tr I, I did put it in, and it's, again, just like the other one, it's really weak. And it, you, you kind of need it to Oh, man, that's that's ridiculous because <laughs> you need it to be kind of strong because this is going to have to, you know, kind of flex out in order to reach here. You can see right here, there's a hole right there, and it just goes right in there like that. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, it looks cool. But man, yeah, these magnets are weak in the hands for sure. Here's the head sculpt. Very nice. This right here, especially with the, uh, you know, the wrinkles and the fabric. I mean, it's all sculpted, but it looks good. They did a, they did a pretty nice job for the, these being animated pieces. It's pretty good. I, I I will say I wish they were quarter scale. I really wish they were quarter scale. But if they were, they'd be outrageously priced, and I assume people would be less willing to buy them at five six hundred dollars for an animated quarter scale. But I bought it. I think it would have been cool, and I think, you know, one-fifth scale is a weird scale. They do look good in a Besta. Like, you can see Batman looks great in the Besta. Really curious to see how she's going to look next to him. It's a shame that Joker's sculpt doesn't look very good. Maybe if the production pieces come out and they look decent, maybe I'll change my mind, but I'm happy with this. I'm happy with Harley and Batman, just the two of them. Hopefully they don't look weird and just by themselves in the Besta. Uh, yeah. I am a little nervous picking this up. Like, I'm nervous that this is all going to fall apart as soon as I pick it up. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. 
Okay, so here they are together. Yeah, it looks like Joker's not going to fit in there anyway, so I guess this kind of works. Um, not sure it makes a whole lot of sense with them just kind of going together, but looks good. They can kind of get a height difference. She does kind of get lost because she's, you know, same problem with my Arkham Joker. She's leaning back, and so she kind of gets lost, but yeah, definitely look good together. Glad I got the exclusives. These are cool pieces. They really are. I'm surprised they're not selling more than they actually are. Because you can still get the exclusive, I think, on both of these on Sideshow right now. But anyway, guys, um, I just saw today that uh, Prime 1 is getting ready to start shipping out their Dark Knight Rises Batman. and So that may end up being the next thing I get. It, it should have been Hush Ivy, but haven't seen any of those ship out yet. So um, it's going to be probably one of those two. Those... That'll be the next piece I get, but yeah, happy with this. It's cool. I'm, I'm glad that it's it feels good to start getting statues again. So hopefully this will be the beginning of more and more statues coming in because I have I still have like nine on pre-order. I got bored, you know, having nothing coming in, and I I got a little crazy pre-ordering. So yeah, if you like Harley, especially the animated Harley, which let's is the best Harley. Come on, the the animated Harley is the best. So if you're into that, it's totally worth it. It's a cool piece. Um, yeah, really happy. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you later.